My name is Chris Riche. I'm the product manager for Red Raven Pumps and Seals. And today I'm going to talk to you about mechanical seal monitoring using IoT. Rotating equipment users that, that use mechanical seals that are trying to improve reliability in most cases quickly find that improving mechanical seal reliability helps to improve overall equipment reliability. This is because the mechanical seal is often the first sign of a, of a system problem. It doesn't necessarily mean that the seal is the problem, but it shows up as a, a problem through leakage because there's something else wrong in either the pump or the pumping system. This is partially due to the fact that anyone walking around the plant can detect a leaking seal on a non-flashing surface. Everyone can see liquid coming out of a seal. It's much more difficult to understand whether the vibrations that a, a pump has as you walk by and hear or see something going on are, are enough to cause the pump to need to be replaced. This leads to us being able to diagnose problems with the entire system and fix problems with the entire system just by focusing on the mechanical seal. Mechanical seal problems that come from equipment problems and system problems have a, a few detrimental effects. One, of course, being unplanned downtime. Failures can occur with seemingly no warning when actually the failures have occurred because of a long time of poor operation or even system problems that resulted in transients. This comes with emergency equipment repairs that are expensive, the possibility of lost product, and even diverted resources from having to work on a seal or a pump as opposed to being able to work on, say, predictive or preventive maintenance tasks in other areas of the plant. There's also an impact on spare pump availability. When a pump is shut down, if the operator doesn't know exactly how healthy that pumping application is, and specifically the mechanical seal, they might not know for sure whether they can count on that pump to be be ready to run when the sister pump goes down. By knowing the health of the seal when the pump is shut down and what conditions it may have seen in, in the course of its life, operators can have more confidence in their spare pump reliability and plan repairs while the pump is naturally down as opposed to having to do them when the pump has to come down because there's some other problem uh, that has required it to be repaired. Mechanical seal monitoring can also help with failure analysis because in most cases, failure analysis of mechanical seals relies on failed parts or damaged parts. The engineer is left to try to fill in the gaps to try to create scenarios based on what they see in the, in the parts they've taken out and trying to piece together some historical data that may or may not give a complete picture. In most cases, there's little data to confirm or deny a theory and little in-house experience to be able to connect the failed parts to a, a, specific product, a specific system condition. So what can the equipment operators do and how can they understand conditions that lead directly to seal failure? This is a difficult question that Red Raven is attempting to answer through mechanical seal monitoring. There are available solutions right now out in the field. There are simple solutions and there are complicated solutions, as there is with anything that we're trying to, any problem we're trying to solve. Operator monitoring is probably the most common and, and simplest solution where we have someone walking around once per shift and gathering data. Most of the time, this data is, is very limited. There are some gauges out in the field, most of the time directed uh, right at what the process conditions, what the process conditions that need to be monitored. And then the operators relying on their own senses to be able to find other conditions that might be bad for the mechanical seal or bad for the pump. This is also a time consuming effort, even though they're not gathering a lot of data. Um, they're it, having to walk around to every pump in the plant once a shift or even once a day takes a fair amount of time and they're still not getting a lot of beneficial data that they can actually do anything about. Also, many times this data is held relatively close to the person who saw it. It doesn't get conveyed onto an engineer or into an operator's uh, logbook if it's not something that's very severe or something that requires a lot of attention. Another option is process monitoring. And this is typically limited to process variables only and is run in the control room to be able to maintain the right throughput and the right levels of uh, production out of a process unit. Again, this is a, another relatively limited visibility operation because operators can see this data all the time, but people on the floor or on the, at the plant level with the equipment aren't necessarily going to be looking at these screens and don't know exactly what's going on or if there's a problem that's coming up with a pump that's on the other end of the unit. 
And furthermore, there's limited adjustment points. Because the customer is trying to create a product and have a certain amount of, of, uh, of flow or a process uh, output through that product, that processing unit, there's not a lot of levers that can be pulled to try to adjust equipment condition without also affecting the productivity of the, of the unit itself. So we're limited in most cases on what we can actually do, even if a problem is noticed in process monitoring. The next step up is looking at a machinery protection system, which in most cases are very expensive and tied into equipment control. This can give a relatively limited fundamental understanding of what's going on with the mechanical seal, uh, while it also does give a machine reprotection level on keeping the equipment from running into a failure mode if there's high vibration sensed uh, or if there's a, another problem that would cause the equipment to be damaged. Unfortunately, because these systems are so expensive and involved to install, they're relatively limited in how many places they are they're used, only on the most critical equipment uh, and the most expensive equipment. Even though this is valuable for that equipment, it leaves the bulk of the plant, in some cases 80 to 90 percent of the plant, mostly unmonitored and also doesn't give us a lot of insight into conditions that could cause a mechanical seal failure in other equipment that might not be as critical or might be spared, but it's still important to keep running for the success of the unit. Lastly, we have vibration rounds where we're typically having someone walk by once per month or maybe once a quarter with a handheld analyzer to take vibration readings on all of the equipment in a certain unit or even in the whole plant. Again, much like operator monitoring, this is relatively time consuming, having to go to every piece of equipment and taking multiple vibration readings. This is why we only see it done once a month and in some cases even just once a quarter. It also requires highly trained personnel to be able to take the data and then also to analyze the data. And these people that are highly trained and very intelligent spend a lot of time looking at equipment that has no issues at all. In order to be able to have an accurate record, historical record, we have to look at every piece of equipment on the same schedule. Unfortunately, this will miss idle spare equipment if the, if the technician walks by when a piece of equipment is not running and also has a very high chance of missing transient conditions that could actually cause the most damage to a mechanical seal or pumping system. These available solutions are used across the industry and have a lot of value, but they sometimes miss the more nuanced conditions that can cause mechanical seal failures that end up in unplanned downtime and poor failure analysis and loss of spare pump availability, which is what we're going to address with FlowServe Red Raven seal monitoring. The real benefit of using IoT for any kind of monitoring is in the opportunities that we get to be able to look at equipment that we otherwise wouldn't have. The conventional methods that I talked about previously, such as operator monitoring, process monitoring, machine protection systems, and vibration rounds, give us a pretty good chance to look at equipment, but on a relatively wide schedule. So we're not looking at it very often. Operator monitoring might be once or twice a day. Process monitoring might be continuous, but only really looked at by a few people. Machinery protection systems, again, are expensive and relatively limited in how much they can be used throughout the plant. And vibration rounds, of course, are only done once a month and in some cases once a quarter. This gives us not a lot of data points, right? And when we're trying to pull something together to be able to understand why a mechanical seal failed and how it relates back to the pump and the pumping system, we need more data. Condition monitoring gives us that opportunity by allowing us to put sensors into the pumps or onto the pumps and seals and take readings every 30 minutes or so. This is, gives us 17,280 opportunities a year to see the data and make an improvement on the system that will help us to improve reliability and extend the life, but extend the time between failure of, of every piece of equipment in the plant. Because condition monitoring using wireless sensors is relatively cheap to deploy, this can be rolled out to almost every pump in the plant as opposed to just very specific pumps that are considered critical where we would use machinery protection systems. Furthermore, when we look at predictive analytics, we can now use uh, these same kinds of readings and in some cases add in new ones to be able to take readings every 30 seconds using wired sensors. We can also take those readings and use them to run engineering, engineered analytics, which is taking a closer look at how these different parameters reflect and impact each other. This gives us a million opportunities a year to predict by taking readings every 30 seconds. This is a huge leap forward of being able to understand conditions that would affect seal life that might not be easy to find using conventional methods. 
as I mentioned before, when we're looking at transient events or when a idle pump is down as, as someone passes by to take a vibration reading, those events are completely missed by conventional methods unless we're using a machinery protection system. And again, those are only used in, very small, in, in a very small population of the plant. But being able to deploy relatively inexpensive and easy to deploy options for condition monitoring and predictive analytics through Red Raven gives us a chance to catch these things no matter when they happen. When selecting an IoT solution to be able to monitor any piece of equipment in the plant, there's a few things we want to we want to take careful consideration of. Is the system secure? Is the network controlled? Does the network have controlled access? Is there any way that anyone could get in and either take data or take control over the equipment that's being monitored? This, as we've heard from recent stories in the news, can be a major problem for a lot of different kinds of operators, not only plants, but also pipelines and even other equipment operators in general industry. Is the system based on a fundamental understanding of the equipment? There's a lot of customer, or a lot of companies out there right now that can do data science, data analysis and look for trends and look for changes from baseline. While this is valuable when there's a lot of data available, what it doesn't really cover is the condition where it, a monitoring system is installed on a piece of equipment that's been running for three or four years or more. We don't know for sure whether the condition at the beginning of starting to take data is a ideal condition or close to ideal condition, or is it a pre-failure condition? By looking at, a, by having a fundamental understanding of the conditions and how they relate to equipment reliability, the monitoring system becomes more valuable because it can tell you today whether that condition is good or bad or favorable for a long life or not. But this has to be based on a fundamental engineering-based understanding of what the data means. It can't just be looking at the data as a series of numbers and looking for patterns and changes from a baseline. The alerts that are generated from the system need to be actionable. It doesn't do us a lot of good to have new data if we don't know what to do with that data. As mentioned before, some of the concerns that customers have in plants and other process industries right now is not having the in-house expertise to be able to understand exactly what the data coming from a failed seal or from a process uh, analysis might mean. Having actionable alerts that are based on the fundamental understanding and technical support to help work through questions and problems is crucial to being able to make the most use of the data that's being taken off of the equipment. And last but not least is making sure the system is easy to install and maintain. Quite a few systems out there in the field right now are relatively easy to install, but don't really have a lot of help on the maintenance side. And what I mean by this is the customers in, in some cases on their own to maintain the system and to troubleshoot any problems. Other systems might have a lot of background service, but they're difficult to install and require a lot of upfront setup. In either case, this makes it hard for a customer to get into the, the business of, of monitoring your equipment and improving reliability, and in some cases, difficult to maintain to the point where systems become ignored completely uh, because there's too many sensors that aren't working or the, or the whole system itself is down. So looking at all five of these criteria at the same time, we're using these to try to, to, try to select the best IoT solution for any kind of monitoring that we would do. And what I'll talk about in a few minutes is how we use this to be able to monitor mechanical seals effectively using the Red Raven system. Later this year, FlowServe will release the seal, Red Raven Seals Monitoring and Analytics offering. This is designed to be able to hit all five of the qualities we talked about previously. Security, fundamental understanding, alarms that are actionable, easy to install, and easy to maintain. The system that we use for Red Raven is a private FlowServe cloud database that only does monitoring. There is no control aspect to Red Raven whatsoever. We're only taking readings using our sensors or using other sensors in the plant and using that to be able to run calculations and analytics. There's limited access through the web portal login and password and all the data is encrypted from the moment it leaves the sensor till it gets into the FlowServe cloud database. Our system is based on the fundamental understanding of subject matter experts on mechanical seals. FlowServe has been making mechanical seals for a very long time and is a, com a combination of quite a few different mechanical seal companies that all bring their unique understanding of their certain seal types to this offering of, of Red Raven mechanical seal monitoring. This is based on OEM seal design principles and understanding the context behind the readings that we take and using those in analytics. 
All of this, of course, is supported by the FlowServe Monitoring Center, which takes this data and actually provides context into what the data means. And this allows them to provide customizable alerts that are actionable. What can we actually do to fix the problem that we're seeing in the data? Um, these alerts can come from single point thresholds as well as multivariable trends when we're starting to run analytics. The corrective actions can be provided through the analytics modules that we have in the, in the inside portal. And of course, these are all supported by the FlowServe Monitoring Center from an engineering standpoint. The Monitoring Center is there to help answer questions and to give advice on what to do when a certain condition exists and how to try to prevent that condition from causing a seal failure. The system is just like the Red Raven system we have for pumps and valves, which is easy to install and to maintain, and again, is supported by the FlowServe Monitoring Center. The system for wireless condition monitoring of mechanical seals will use the same kind of hardware as we're using for pumps. This is pre -configured, a pre-configured network and will offer a LoRa-based wireless protocol that can be used on any pump and any seal. We will also have an offering for wired systems to be able to run predictive analytics that is still based on a wireless transmission to the secure FlowServe cloud, but will take faster readings at the pump uh, every 30 seconds or so as opposed to every 30 minutes to be able to run analytics more quickly than we would do with just wireless condition monitoring. All of these systems can be installed in existing ports or even in support system tubing. Although the SEAL system will be a little bit more intrusive than a, a equipment monitoring system because it does have to go into pressure cavities, the idea is to use as the right amount of sensors to monitor the conditions without going too far. We don't want to install a sensor in every possible location, we put sensors where they make the most sense. And then finally, maintaining the system, which is very important to, to long life and being able to get the most value out of the system, is all supported by the FlowServe Monitoring Center, as well as the subscription of uh, to Red Raven to replace any devices with dead batteries and to monitor the infrastructure of the system for availability. And of course, all of this goes into the full support of the FlowServe QRC network for any kind of problems or seal repairs, uh, upgrades, or things that could help to improve reliability based on the data that's gathered from the monitoring system and calculated through analytics. Even though mechanical seal monitoring through Red Raven is not yet available, we can look back on previous examples of field conditions where monitoring may have been able to prevent a failure or at least allow the, for planning of the repair of the seal at a more convenient time. A good example of this is a combined cycle power plant that used boiler, circu boiler, boiler circulating water pumps. These pumps are typically high pressure, high temperature, and unspared. Unspared meaning that there are typically two or three pumps that are working, that are being used in the plant but if they all three run at the same time or both run at the same time, and if any of the pumps goes down, the operator, the plant operator, has to test to derate the amount of electricity that they can create. So not only are they having to repair the pump and, uh, and incur the cost of repairing, but also they lose the revenue that comes from being able to, to produce at full capacity and could even face fines if they, were, if they have to maintain a certain amount of availability to the grid. A few seals were upgraded at a plant in the U.S., and the, uh, one of the upgraded seals failed shortly after startup. One of the nice things about this installation is that the panel that you see on the right side of that picture added a lot of new monitoring points that didn't exist before with the older seal design. The data analysis performed after the failure and looking at the DCS trends allowed us to see multiple temperature spikes that occurred in the mechanical seal system. We also saw multiple start-stop events and accumulator alarms, which indicate that the pump was being turned on and off frequently, and also that the Plan 23 system was not fully vented or was gathering vapor over time. All of these conditions led to the mechanical seal failure. By looking at this data, we were able to understand the scenario and what conditions led to failure, but it was a little bit too late. The seal had already been removed, we were already looking at failed parts and gathering together DCS data to try to piece together the story to understand how to improve the seal for the future. The good point about this, though, is that the conflict failure analysis we were able to put together based on the data that we were able to gather allowed us to upgrade the seal to the point in the system also to be able to prevent these kinds of things in the future, which is the the real benefit of looking at Red Raven mechanical seals, or looking at seals through the Red Raven system, 
because it's using real-time readings to catch these process problems before they can cause a failure. And even in the event that the failure is inevitable, it still gives more information to be able to improve the conditions of that seal or system in the future to avoid those same kind of failures happening again. This is a great example of the power of monitoring. In this case, the data was all there to be seen by anyone who was able to look at it, but piecing it all together and being able to take those readings in real time and do something about it is the true value of, of IoT in general, and certainly the true value of mechanical seal IoT through Red Raven. We've talked a lot today about how mechanical seal monitoring can offer the best opportunity to prevent unplanned downtime and improve availability and even can improve seal failure analysis once the seal does fail by giving information that would otherwise have been unavailable. The Red Raven Seals IoT product opens up new opportunities to prevent failures both now and in the future by giving real-time information about what's going on in the mechanical seal as well as offering historical data that can be used to improve failure analysis. The Flowstream Monitoring Center plays a big role here, offering technical support to keep the system running as well as it can in real time and to provide corrective actions when, when possible, and also to watch the system itself, the monitoring system, to make sure that the devices are talking as they're supposed to and the portal is available. All the information we have in the background is all OEM backed, using SME information from many years of troubleshooting seals and, and equipment, uh, pumping equipment in the field, and bringing that fundamental understanding into the calculations that we run in the background of our portal and on our secure cloud-based network. I hope this presentation has been informative and useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the Destination Innovation Tech Forum and take away from this uh, a better understanding of FlowServe in general and how to improve equipment reliability and availability overall. Thank you. Have a good day.